obliterate towers. It's Matumbamin. Um, yes, I will say that correctly. Hani on the Tinker, and that's Fnatic's lineup here. They're playing on the Dire. All right, over on the side of Navi, FNG handling that. I wish it was a core Wraith King, but it's definitely oh, going to be a support. <laughs> he's got sentries, okay? It's core, dude. It's, he's got sentries and smoke. Stop lying. He's only got two tangos. Core or support <laughs> is just a, a state of mind. <laughs> so we got FNG going to be handling the Wraith King. Uh, Havost will be playing a core silencer. I'm pretty excited for this. Dendi playing the puck down in that mid lane. Vanscore taking care of that Rubik. The Vanscore Rubik is pretty darn strong, if I'm remembering right. It is pretty good. And then Funic will be playing the Furion. What a surprise. And then I'm very, I'm very surprised. Navi, the carrier. Very surprised. The Flaming Dragon carrier. Is Fonic just, like, ready to give up the offlane? He's got three clarities right now. I think he's just starting jungle. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, well, he got Treants first as well, which isn't, you know, super uncommon for either role, but... Um, I, I mean, that's, that's a nasty offlane to try to play against Nyx and then Jakiro if he ends up up there. Oh, looks like yeah, Jakiro temporarily is going to be blocking. Do you think they're going to dual lane mid? And do, like, Drake Dragon mid and just try to push down the tower? Or is he just, just blocking with Illusion? I mean, I she's I would like right fire. because Dendi is like nah, the only he's like the glue for this team to hold it together a little bit. So if you slow down Dendi, you slow down. I mean, Dendi's so used to this though, right? Like how many people do duo or tri lane against him in the middle lane to try to stop him? Uh, maybe not as much recently, just because nice. what the mid lane is and was, you know, kind of changed. It's just like where you farm instead of making those big rotational plays. But it was Dendi who was you know one of the biggest players that did that. Like he would rotate and he would change games. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. As much as I love watching Arteezy, I hate that he has changed the uh, changed how the mid lane kind of plays. Him and a couple of other plays. I think uh, Miracle also kind of helped with that. I mean, the mid lane was too but easy for Arteezy, so he had to change it. Like, well, it's just it was, as that. it was he started doing all the very farm oriented mid, and I was just like, uh. Whose I fault liked, is that really though? Mid. Let's be honest. It's definitely Fear or PPD's fault. God. I forgot, I forgot oh, to play God. the blame game here. Hey, check it out. Oh, uh, does that come with me uh, flaming? Yes. Yeah, that seems pretty standard. This is this is not new. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm flaming. A boast, a boast with the counter flame and then some hearts. I think these hearts are maybe not completely truthful, but, I don't know, like, you know, well, Here's the thing. The one thing I love about Star Ladder above everything else is that the rules are applied equally no matter what. Yeah, they do there's a good no job, stupid I think. bull crap. There's nothing like that. If you're late, I mean, it can be a really unfortunate reason or it can be a really stupid reason. You're getting penalized either way. It's, I mean, that's just yeah. kind of how the state of it is, and it keeps things running on schedule as opposed to four hours late, like other events I've been a part of. You know, Starlight is one of my <sighs> favorite things to cast for that reason. Indeed. Uh, so Buggy's down here, you know, nested in these trees, as we can see. This is never going to happen again. There's like a million paths through here in 6.82, so the offlane is changing right. dramatically. Uh, if you're going to do this, it's going to be more down here, I guess, where we see actually FNG. He's, he's looking for him, uh, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's not over there, FNG. You're getting pretty close, though. He wasted a tango. Yeah, that tango, man. That efficiency, FNG, come on. It's your birthday, we won't flame you. Dendi in the middle lane, though, having some trouble going against uh, the Fairy Dragon versus the Nether Drake here. Uh, even though those titles, I think, have been dropped, I don't really care. Uh, forever in my heart is where they remain. See, Nathan uh, Drake was one of the lane. coolest names in the game. I love that Yeah, dude. it was. It was pretty sick. 5-0 and oh and 7-2. and two. So Denny's actually farming okay. He's getting harassed a lot. And his bottle is actually on the way oh, here. On uh, Look at this courier name. The sixth player of Navi. Bringing it out. Way to no, not it's actually pay attention when circlets. I said that. Oh, you yeah, said that two really? circles actually going to... Uh, I'm sorry. I ignored it. It's you. going out to Furion, dude. He's doing the triple null talisman build. Of course Fox so is doing that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. He probably started it. It wouldn't surprise me. Honestly, I still think my favorite weird funic thing was the uh, the dire side Marana ancients. Yeah, and Wind Ranger as well. And farm agents. Yeah. Wind that Runner at that time, actually. Yeah, it was not Wind Ranger ancients. Thank you very much. It was Wind Runner ancients, and of course Medusa. Dude, all right, sorry. Six point eight two talk, guys. I know it's a Navi fanatic, but like six point eight two is such a big deal. Are they trying to make oh, Medusa the most OP hero they're in the game, or what? Havos knows he's up there. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he was just eating that tango. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted oh a tree, I think. Oh god. I really... I wonder how long they're gonna manage to not find him. This is pretty great. He's level... He's almost level 4, dude. Yeah, Three dude, minutes. he's doing great! Like, they're this like, is fantastic. Well, guess this Buggy's is. jungling. <laughs> Talk about easy offlane, man. Jungle void. Well, they gotta be seeing him get it, getting the experience. Well, here's the... Okay. If they were really thinking about it... 
then they would know, okay, he's getting about the same experience rate as Havost. Oh, and now he left. Why did yeah. he leave? Well, because the, uh, the creep wave, you can actually tower, maybe get yeah. some CS here at the tower now. Yeah. Immediately uh, creep with the Curse of the Silent. Couldn't they have tested? I guess there's no indication that you land your Curse of the Silent. It's not like a Marana arrow or anything. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, the guy has to burn off spells at least. You could just, like, throw him around. Yeah, they could I'm saying they could have maybe dropped some in the tree to maybe force him out, but I don't know if they ever would have. At, I mean, honestly, at that point, if Buggy had even died, oh, first blood in the middle lane for Dendi, we won't How catch that, that one, of even? course. I don't know. How does he kill Viper with the magic? Does the corrosive skin kill? No corrosive skin. He goes like full aggro, so none of that extra magic resistance allows Dendi to pick up the kill, and he's second in CS right now. He's 22 and 11. Tinker for Fnatic, though, actually, Hani are right in line with that uh, 24 and 13. Yeah, now Dendi actually doing, so he's got another 1200 gold, already has his bottle, is halfway through level 6, so he's in really good shape right now. Oh, they're gonna go with Trixie, they got the 3 off, Fonic gonna TP in, Ice Path gonna catch that Furion as he comes in, but just not enough damage. Fonic barely takes a single hit, and there is a very, very dead Jakiro. Oh, that's, that's, what you get. that's what you get for taking Dendi's rune, mate. Dude, he took, he took the DD. It was for Dendi. You just get punished for that kind of stuff. Yeah, so standard Trixie play, dying there on the Jakiro. Sorry, That's Trixie. Cool Actually, love, I love Trixie. Trixie. Such a good player, but the, the the feeding joke is just it's I can't pass it up. Having the opportunity to cast him here today. Uh, two and zero for Navi though. Dendi with one kill, and of course Phonic picking up the other. So those remaining core members of Navi, you know, getting in uh, their worth here. As, what do we got? Havost, he's building up into a Midas. I think it's actually just on the courier now. The recipe is there. The boots coming out for Dendi and the bottle. So treads and bottle all coming out for Dendi. I'm sure he's been bottle curing already, but he's going to look to be uh, pretty strong in the middle lane right now. Matum, Bamin, just with the Wraith Band and a bottle. So no boots. That's a slow hero, man. 285 move speed. Well, he'd be OP as heck if he was fast, man. He's already True. too strong. Man, he's getting nerfed a little bit. I think the Corrosive skin is honestly, I think that's a really good change yeah. uh, for going into 6.82. Well, I mean, it's, it's similar attack. to a lot of how Ice Frog works. He doesn't like to change the core, like, uh, iconic skills of the heroes and, like, make mm -hmm. them too weak to be useful because you want them to be good in their intended role. But you, oh, Matumpa Man might be in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to snap that Dream Coil. He's just going to get destroyed. And with Funic TPing him, this is going to turn into a push, most likely. They've yeah, got Funic the, uh, already level five, three points in nature's call. Well, maybe so not. He's just up some backing trees. off. All right, never mind. They don't want mid tower. Mid tower is not good enough for Navi. <laughs> God. I think they want to keep it because they want to keep the lanes forced, or maybe I don't know. Seems like you'd want to take the tower so you could rotate up and start putting pressure on uh, Hani Dyer's here, because Hani up in the jungle attack. right now on the dire side, being scouted out by Trance. He's got look at the stack though. Hani's very close. He's already got Bottle Soul Ring. We're at six minutes, and he's honestly very close to finishing up his Boots of Travel. Even yeah. a two stack over here, and I think this is like three or four. Yeah, it was really, really well done. We haven't really been mentioning that for the entire game, but there's been a lot of really good creep stacking going on for that Tinker. And here's the thing, also, I think Navi would want to take an earlier advantage, because I don't like their late game nearly as much as I like Fnatic's. I think Fnatic has more heroes that have the potential to be strong right clickers, and also the tanker is just a dominating force, and he works really well at stopping the Furion Rat in particular. Like he's probably the only hero who gets oh, all they're going for Viper again, him. again. No corrosive skin is very squishy. He will die almost immediately, but a v very big uh, liquid fire. All three heroes burning down right now. Trixie barely lives. And Hani trying to slow down the push, he will drop out the March of the Machines. But yeah, when Fnatic's line up, they're giving up kills now, but when they get online, it's going to be terrifying. Void, 7 minutes in, is already tower. level 5, so Buggy's going to have the Chronosphere up pretty soon, Boots of Travel online pretty soon, and Nyx Assassin, since uh, Hani's been jungling, come with me, he's been getting a lot of experience Dyer's up here. He's almost level 6, so you'll have Vendetta online, and the lives of Navi are going to get a lot more difficult. Yeah. I mean, the, the Vendetta obviously will be a pretty decent pickup. I'm wondering like, what Havost wants to farm. He's gone for in for a Hand of Midas. He's getting the fast uh, experience in gold, obviously. I would expect him to just go straight for some sort of durability items. Or, like, maybe, honestly, you could theoretically grab a mech on a on a farming silencer like this for tanking purposes. And then go into some damage items. Yeah, I, I think, think most people just go straight for the Ags, though. Like, you got the Midas, you want Ags Refresh. And maybe a BKB. Like, those bigger items will come out faster with that. I don't know, man. You're, like, the only real right-clicker on that team. I'm not sure uh, you want to invest... I don't know, so dude. Funnick's got three Null Talismans. Dyer's He's right-clicking for, like, 90. Freaking Furion. Now what? Is he saving up 1650? Is he going to go in for a Midas? No, he's going to go Blade Mail. Oh, God. 
Shred's probably gonna blade mail. That's usually. I mean, blade mail's such cheap damage for Nature's Problem. Really 32 is. for like. Oh, the first chrono of the game on the two. FNG gonna be the first to fall here for Navi. Uh, invisibility rune. Buggy's actually gonna scoop it up and he won't continue to attack Dendi. Doesn't want to mess with that. His chrono was already used up and Dendi probably would be able to kill him. As uh, something else is being delivered here. The sixth player of Navi bringing out. It's just a magic wand here for Dendi as he looks to uh, engage in more and more battles here once that magic wand up. Hey man, this uh, level one mana bird from Come With Me is hitting for 170 on Phonic, and that was because Phonic ran worse. out of mana with it. Oh yeah, it's gonna get much worse. Let's see, how boots much should it be? There you go. All right, so about nine minute boots of travel. Oh, he's looking for the vendetta hit. There we go. He's oh, waiting that's for the it. Ticker to come in. Oh, he missed the stun. It. He missed the stun. Come with me. You had it, man. Oh, you seem kind of like stuttered the stun real quick. I think he thought that oh, he was gonna juke. Buggy will go down in the bottom lane, uh, just to actually just to host advanced score. That's uh, a lot of damage coming out for them. Just uh, the last word doing what 250 damage right now and a max curse of the silence. So once he's lifted up, last word proxy silence. You throw down a level four curse of the silent, like you die. It's too much to deal with. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. I actually gotta go back. Uh, someone on Twitter, uh, Damon R. Damon Risu, he said there is an indication of Curse of the Silent. I wasn't sure. Uh, there is a voice line if you connect with the Curse of the Silent, so they could maybe have used the blind one there to scout out the void earlier on in the game, but I, thought he I don't only know if it was a big, the, too big of a deal or not. Does he only say the, the Curse You line? I thought he said that Yeah, he might just say Curse You if it lands. I'm not sure. I thought I thought he said that every time. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Hey, learn something new every day. Thank you. There you go. Uh, or we were lied to by Twitter some guy on Twitter. Uh, Shout him out. What's the Twitter? I already did. D-Man Risu. D-Man Risu. Thanks, bro. There you go. Five to one, though. Ten minutes in. We'll switch over to net worth now. We see Havos, 66 CS, the most in the game. Also, top of the net worth at 5.2k. We got Tinker at 4.6. Hani's doing incredibly well. He's farming up the jungle, and since he's in the jungle doing such a good job, he will get scattered out by FNG now, but FNG is probably going to die to this. He will still die in the march, so Hani gets a kill, but then he picks up another one as well. Actually, Phonics Wrath of Nature will get it now. The wraparound on the bottom lane onto Havost. They have a Chrono Sphere if they need it, but they shouldn't, and the Mana Burn, what a Chrono, man. Right on the edge. Doesn't get his teammate, and there it is. They use two ultimates, but they pick off the Silencer, and now Fnatic started to regain some ground, but to the middle lane, Matumbamin. I'm going to struggle to say that indefinitely. 6-3, uh, though. Sis, Matumba Man. Matumba, oh, thank you. That was yeah, easy. That's, Matumba that's man. how I do it. But Matumba Man. It's not that bad. All right, it's not anymore now that you've helped I used me out. To, I used to have to campaign Matumbo on my basketball team locally, so that was, uh, it's easier for me. That's what I keep wanting to say. And it's <laughs> like, not what his name is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basketball. Not Dota. Are you sure? Dota's better. Dota is better. <laughs> hey, um, let's, be, let's be real. What's his name? What's his name would uh, would disagree with you? Human insanity. Yeah. I don't know if you would, man. Dyer's no, has basketball has been they, patched they fuse in for ages. Him. All right, there's the there's the blink dagger on puck. So Dendi is and he went in for treads before blink. Really good time. And he still got it in eleven and a half. That's very very good. Just sitting at sixty and twenty one for CS. So, God, dominating that viper. And you think that's a lane? I mean, I I was mentioning two games ago. How the people that are really effective against Puck are people Radiant's whose harass methods are on a lower than six second cooldown. And he had that. He had a Viper up against him, and he managed to just crush him. I mean, there were a couple of rotations, of but the first kill was 1v1. The first kill was 1v1, yeah, though. Yeah, and I missed it, so who knows what happened. That's, I mean, no points in Corrosive Skin. Just one point in Corrosive would have been enough. I, I, don't, I don't think he needed all these points in Nether Toxin. Like, there's a reason people leave it at one or two these days. I guess he really wanted to contest the last hits, but where has that got him? Dendi's sitting at 66 and 21. Viper only at 40 and a 7. So Dendi with more denies, more last hits, and more kills. Looking at the net worth difference, 5.7k on Dendi's puck to that of about 3k on Matumbaman. Yeah, I mean, the problem is an, an underfarm Viper, he doesn't really catch up particularly well. Oh, I mean, you're used to him just... He's a lane winner. He's supposed to come out of his lane very, very strong. Yeah, and that's kind go. of the awkward thing, though, so. when you pick him up, and then it just doesn't work out, and then you're like, what do we do now? As Funic, the yeah. Global Silence goes out, trying to keep him alive a little bit longer. He goes to TP, but he can't make it in time. Now Dendi there gets a Spike Carapace, but it's not going to matter too much. The Orb connects, he gets another right click in, and now in the bottom lane, Buggy and some treble FNG with the stuns. Where's Havos? Uh, where is Havos? Actually, Havos TP top. It's Vance Court FNG in the bottom lane, level 7 on Rubik. Level 7 on the Wraith King, Reincarnation skilled up. Uh, not taking that big numb strategy. 
Which it's I really probably overall like. a, uh, a good trade for Come With Me, though. I mean, he picks up Phonic, he loses oh, himself, so he gets all these games, and we're gonna Phonic. Trixie's gonna fall. Oh, Denny even throws down the coil, so Honey can't chase this. So they go for him as well. Void has TP'd over. He's gonna drop in uh, the Chrono right onto Denny. Denny in the march. Don't think he's getting out of this one. Unless he can phase. Oh, he had about a millisecond to do it. Now Havost is here. They're looking to fight Last Word onto Buggy. Can they kill Honey, though? The Chrono is stolen by Vanscore and dropped onto Honey and come with me. But now Matumbin up onto Havost. They're gonna bring down Havost, so he will die taking his second death. He's 2 and 2, 81 CS on him. But Vanscore, you talked about his Rubik plays. Some plays, man. Chrono is an interesting spell to steal. Obviously, it doesn't work on Void, but it will work on everybody else. You have to be really, really careful not to put it in a position that's really advantageous to the Void either. Because he gets all those buffs while he's in it. I believe he still gets those in Rubik's Chronosphere. Who? Void. Void? Yeah, yeah, the movement speed and stuff? Yeah, he still gets like the move speed yeah, and everything while he's in Rubik's Chronosphere. So you have to be really, really careful not to unintentionally give the Void a huge advantage. So Vanscore, he stole it, and then you can see him actually wait for Boogie to leave before he was willing to drop it. There's just good patience on his part. Yeah, and Boogie oh. was pretty low, too. I think he was out of mana, and the last word brought him down to lower than half HP. But here we go, the push in the bottom lane, the Triance FNG with that uh, aura. He's got three points in Vampiric Aura, actually none in stats. So FNG takes a little bit different of a skill build, um, if you can even call it that, since stats isn't really a skill. But yeah, usually people put one point. It doesn't matter too much, honestly. I, I don't do it anymore. Like, if you build treads or, like, a bracer, there's really no point to get stats, in my personal opinion. I mean, I will I will never have a problem with getting a little bit of extra stats on Wraith King for throwing out the extra stuns, but, you know, whatever works in general, if you can get the fast treads, it's certainly a good thing, and if you can get, like, a fast wand, I mean, he's gotten a reasonable amount of gold for being in a, in a support position. He's like almost on par with that Viper who's had a really difficult time oh in the middle lane. Fnatic, That's trailing by three thought. kills. Trixie, yeah, it is depressing. Uh, the twin headed dragon here left up alone. Dendi's going for him right now. Can they stop this? They have a dream coil. Are they going to use it? No, FNG had a Wraith Fire Blast, but it doesn't look like they can get that vision in the nighttime in the tree line. Uh, they'll, well, they'll get come with me instead and should take the tower afterwards. Fnatic not in a place to help, you know, stop these uh, tier 1 pushes at all. Hani just trying to farm up as much as possible, Radiant taking out the Radiant Jungle where he can attack. find farm safely. Buggy pushed out in the bottom lane, Dyer's might get some tower damage as a Trixie TP'd out and is starting to rotate back up towards Radiant's Topper, really just attack. stacking for the sinker continuously. Dyer's it was a really, really ballsy TP. Coming in from come with me, I don't know what he was quite thinking. This thing, I, he... Maybe he was trying to get the spiked carapace out in time, but the quick silence coming out from Dendi obviously canceled that. But I don't know, man. If he, if he had shift queued that, he might have at least gotten a stun off, maybe been able to take some. Is Dendi going Dagon? I mean, if any game you're going to go Dagon, you start off this strong. Yeah, would, he's got the so. Null, he's got the staff. If you can have Blink Treads Dagon by like. Oh no, nope, he's going Yules. Okay. Yeah. I like Yules better. Like, it's so good now that it disables Blink Dagger. Obviously, that was the big change. Um, I like it. C creep blocking with the Chronosphere. I'm He's assuming it was about to run yeah, out. He just yeah. to cast it. That's a, a little bit of a mana investment, so maybe just a little weird for Fanscore to go in for that, but I guess he feels confident. Sure base. <laughs> All those mana and Symphonic on the bottom lane. They do have that uh, Global Silence coming out for Boogie, taking a lot of damage, and finally a waning rip from Dendi, making sure that he can't get out. And that's Blink Dagger picked up on Tinker, and on the other side, Yules finished up on Dendi. Looks like Come With Me is maybe going for this puck right here. He's pinging him out. He's he 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 just take him out alone. That's a big mana burn. A lot of intelligence heroes here, and he does have the damage. Nicely done. That's gonna, well, not delay the item too much as it was on the curry. It didn't quite get delivered, but the balls and Phonic trying to get the kill here. Is it gonna be enough? The last word should proc in base and bring him down. <laughs> Boom, it is. He dies in the base. Never a good feeling dying in your own fountain, which will soon be raised. Radiance middle tower yeah. is under so that's, attack. that's my graphic for raising elevation of the fountain. <laughs> well, aren't they uh, increasing fountain attack range too? Yeah, I think it goes from like a 800 to 900 and vision goes from like a thousand to 1200 yeah. and I've made up those numbers, but they're both being increased Yeah, I mean it's, it's basically anti-fountain capping Which is well, I like that. It's still possible, right? I'm, I'm glad it wasn't it wasn't removed or anything like that It's gonna be really really hard Dude fountain, uh, you Radiant know like when teams even in professional tower, games like they attack. take a rack So they go let's kill some people in the fountain that could like be really really big throw potential these days Because like it's gonna be hard <laughs> <It's a fountain laughs> 
Well, at the same time, if you're at the point where you're fountain diming, that's generally because you have like a two a two racks advantage at least. Sometimes I, I, we've we've oh, seen Funnic strange games. Right, Funnic. Yeah, gonna, 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 gonna drop Macrofire and Ice Path. He's not really dying that fast. Does that have an orb? Blade Mail as well. Trixie takes a lot of damage. Doesn't quite oh. go down. Fable. The urn. Oh, the He's gonna, gonna die. Gonna get him. Oh, oh, no, positive urn to meet it though. What's going on? This HP battle right now. It's like Kamehameha. Positive ball. Right. Right. Yeah. Except positive, actually, so. um, not not come 6.82. It's gonna get removed because it's gonna be pure damage. That's gonna be sick. All right, Matamba Man is in a little bit of trouble. Come with me is there. Will not miss that impale on FNG, and that's the reincarnate. He is only level 10, so this is a five minute reincarnate. He almost did it. He almost got to level 11 without even dying. He gets that 160 now. cooldown. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come in. Hani's really strong right now. He picked up a 16 minute oh, blink dagger. The global silence off. will go off. Dendi will come in on the back of this, dropping a two man coil right now. I think Tinker snaps it almost immediately. Dendi says, here I am, and there he goes, retreating out there. Uh, he also has a gem that FNG purchased, so. Well, FNG's ult goes off, but he doesn't die, so actually, Fnatic don't get any kills there. And now look at the bottom lane, Havost and Funnic pushing out the tier 2s. Yep. I was like, post Agonimus, we might be going for, uh, is he just gonna go Axe Refresher? On, on Havost? Because he's got the Oblivion Staff, do you think he's going Refresher, or do you think he's going, um, uh, Orchid? I would, I would think Refresher, honestly. Oh, he's gotta go Refresher, yeah. yeah. You pick up the Minus to go for the two biggest items. You go Ag's Refresher, and then maybe you Pit Stop for Boots of Travel, but I would say BKB is probably his third item, and the Midas is just there to get there faster. Yeah. And uh, we've been corrected again. I like it. I like that people are throwing on the Twitter feedback right now. We've got, uh... No, you don't get the move speed instead of Chrono. Oh, okay. If, uh, cool. if, if it's Rubik's Chrono. Okay, cool. Good to know. Shout, shout him out, man. Who was it? Uh, I was actually my, my old number one fan. I don't know if he's my number one fan anymore, but it's uh, Fro Rio. Fro Rio. I can go. never say his name. There we go. Fro Rio's got us covered. He does indeed. Hopefully he's not lying to us. I don't know. We could just be being lied to. It's uh, FNG. It's actually going to be coming to me. He's actually in trouble because there's a sentry down already. He will get out of that range. But remember, Dendi's got that gem that FNG also purchased. So 13 to 9 to get another kill. Come with me. Try to make some space. FNG. It's his birthday. He can all chat if he wants to. Throwing out the little smiley face. He can chat if he wants to. He can leave his yeah. team behind. I, I, I would have. Yeah, I would have preferred an emo, but you know whatever. Dream Coil dropped. Dendi dives into two two right now with the haste. He will actually kill off. Honey. Honey, no buyback right now. And now they continue to fight. Buggy's gonna jump in. The double Chronos go off. What is this? And now Obos is gonna be focused here, but he's pretty tanky. He's got a lot of stats up there. Buggy is not able to kill him now. FNG is just going school. down. Yeah. Oh, I mean, how can you not steal? It's the only yeah. spell you can actually steal. So, of course, he's got it. Trixie trying to TP out there. The Sprout for the Vision, and they will bring him down. And, wow, Vance Gore with the Chrono again. That was ridiculous, man. This is a really nice zoning Chrono, because you have, obviously, Boogie trapped a couple people in his own Chrono, but then the rest of the team was completely cut off. They couldn't throw anything in. I think Trixie got around to the other side and managed to drop the Macro Fire, but nobody else could do anything. Viper couldn't be throwing out auto attacks, which was really, really big. The Tinker was already dead. There was no potential for Come With Me to come in, throw out a stun, throw out a mana burn, just get his damage going. And now, offense if I win, this is a very slow Roshan. This is a, a dangerous kind of attempt they're making right here. I think they're going to get it just in time, maybe. There's not much to contest besides March. I mean, there's no Chrono. And March will come in, and actually, Danny's still going to go to be aggressive on this. He's going to uh, get Come With Me, but immediately stunned up. He didn't get the Aegis. He's going to go with the, the Yule Scepter, and can he blink out of this? March is just running out one second here on the blink. He will blink out, and he's going to be just fine. Matumba Man in a bit of trouble. FNG caught the macro ice bath. He will fall. Still just recovering uh, from that five minutes uh, ultimate timer there, I believe. Now, of course, he's level 11. And the Aegis is going to be popped. So that was uh, a boast, giving up that Aegis. Dendi picked up a double damage, I heard him, he likes to rotate back over, I think he's, was he bottle crowing, or he's already sold the bottle completely, yeah, he has sold the bottle already, 3,000 gold though, Radiance and Dendi's in inventory, Do you think he just goes for a sheep, probably? Yeah, I think he's gotta yeah, go for a sheep. Especially against a tinker, I think it's the only thing that makes any sense right now. Yeah, the stats are gonna be key, well, and Havost is like, the sheep 400 too. gold away from, uh, God, yes, that's gonna be very good point, the sheep active is quite good, but Refresher's almost done. 14 second silence. Are there any BKBs done? No, Viper is still like about 2,000 gold away from his. Uh, Boogie has not even started one yet. And those are the only ones that are even coming up. I mean, it's not like you want to go for one on Taker. It doesn't really do him a lot of good compared to some other stuff. 
Yeah, looks like he wants to go for the sheep stick himself. He's got uh, honey, he's got the ultimate orb in the inventory, so it won't be too much longer before it gets. He's still farming up a storm, like. He's pretty close in terms of net worth with uh, three heroes of Na'vi, and that's the problem. You've got three heroes on Na'vi ahead of your Tinker. Tinker at 9.6k, about tied with Dendi, and then Funic at 10.6, going for that sort of new school build, the cheap slots, inefficient, uh, but gold efficient. That's a bit of a mouthful, but the blade mail and the sheep stick, and Silencer way out front with the Midas. The refresher is finished in 100 gold. Yeah, one sheep stick already done for uh, Navi. You have the ultimate orb coming up for Dendi. Only about 1900 gold. Oh, uh, yeah. He might be able to get through this. He's got the blink. Yup. Just blinks into the trees. Good decision. Knowing that come with me was ready to just kind of go Radio's after him if he blinked anywhere about the trees. Yeah, he'll orb They know he's there. They're pinging him out, but he's just going to TP. Well, orb, excuse me. Close enough. Same thing. Oh, come with me, still looking. Come with me, still looking. Oh, with the gem. Gem's on Dendi. Look at FNG. This, this, this there is so much bait. Purpose. Come with me, getting so cocky right here. They're, they're gonna try and get the stun. They got the silence. Furion's going in. He has the sheep if he wants it, but they don't even need it. Come with me. So much aggression right there. I mean, I, I, you know. He's an aggressive player. I know. I know. It's do? just like it's, it's one of those things where you know he has a gem, so obviously you really want to kill him, but you also know he, he sees you. There's no potential. Dead score has time walk stolen. He dodges the chrono with Void's own ability. Man, can we, uh, we need some people to just, like, highlight reel this game, because I'm sure with the amount of plays Vance Chris has been making, we've probably missed a couple, and I bet they were epic. Yeah. And he's, he's gonna have a blink in 20 up. gold. Yeah, and I mean, for now, Time Walk's a pretty darn good thing for a Ruby to have. Time Walk Lift? Pretty, pretty good. good. You don't have that annoying wind-up that Faceless Void has? Because your Ruby Yeah, actually, Time Walk's one of the better up. spells for him to steal. Yeah. He's just like, bloop. It's basically a blink. God. There's just so many spells on Rubik that are just... It's so ridiculous because if you 0 0.1 gas point, or is it point like out one? Arrow! Maybe arrow's pretty good, right? Arrow is pretty good. Yeah, um, it's, I'm, it's I'm, point I'm, one. I'm a big fan of uh, Macrobiot. Looks like Denny is going to pick off Trixie right there. Come with me, going to go and try to get something done, but they're going to get the... I don't think they want to engage this. There's too much support coming in from the dire side. They got oh, the, no, they've Havos got the refresh. The silence, like, Havos can just kill people from across the map. The right. silence goes out. That's one. Come with me is dead uh, again. That was actually both. Oh, did he, did he burn yeah. both silences? Uh, well, the refresher. I don't know if uh, he burned no, them no, right in a row, but yeah, yeah they were both used. The refresher's got. It's been on cooldown for 90 seconds. There's no way he did it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Seconds, so. Yeah. No, so not able to get a second one, but it's only used one. Whatever. Whatever, man. What's too legit. going on? Look at this courier. How can we focus on the game? Dude, Navi's sixth um, player. Too legit. He drew, <laughs> dude, he's got like a mini firefly effect. So much damage. So much damage, that'd be really funny. Dude, Courier voice lines are coming Dude, out soon too. Man, Dota's gonna get crazy. Macro Pyre to try to uh, stop the push a little bit, dealing with those treants, but their magic resistance that will also soon be going away keeps them alive Thank pretty long. God. Uh, yeah, right. The tower, though, in the bottom lane, taking a bit of chip damage here as Void pushes up a smoke for Fnatic. They have the Chrono available. They can try to get a big one, but Van Score might have other ideas about that. He can easily... We've seen him stealing Chrono quite a few times, which generally is a spell that Rubik's never even looked for, but he's already made two plays with it, and they've been pretty awesome. I mean, it's just... Uh, well, a lot of big ultimates like that, you just kind of can steal and pop, and it's just a huge turnaround. It's not quite so for Chrono, which is why you don't see it focused on quite as much. You need to really think about how you use it, because you're not able to actually do anything to the Void. But he, I mean, he's been doing that. He's using it very Again, Buggy can't find a Chrono. He tries to drop it on Vance, but you think he would have learned his lesson. Rubik blinking away, expecting that. And, and he got the Chrono again, <laughs> too. Smiley faces again. It's not your birthday, Vance Gore. You can't Dyer's all chat. Uh, they didn't even have any vision on that. I don't know how they saw him. The Dyer had a ward up here. It just ran out, uh, but not so much. And the Chrono now on to Matumba, man. And Vance Gore gets that move speed. FNG with a stun. But whoa, a nice defensive ice path here from Trixie. Going to try to keep him up. But Vance, or FNG just wants to die in the middle of anyone anyways. Let's see, one silence he can do. He's got a double silence in 10 seconds, and this team fight is going to last another 10 seconds. Dendi with another two-man dream coil, forcing Void to leap away, and now Hani is actually going to fall there to Funic and Havos. I mean, they win that team fight three for nil, and Havos doesn't even have to use either the silence or the refresher, and definitely not both of them, or both silences, that is. And they take the tower, take the re-kills, and it looks, honestly, from this point on, to be a fairly easy victory for Navi. They've been dominating this game since basically it started, just looking at the two graphs. Already 20,000 gold and experience ahead. 
Hands are getting so aggressive right there, jumping right There's into the vision. The silence comes out. Look at the damage we're taking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the it's so forcing that. Yeah, and that would be the problem if the silencer was a support, though, right? Because if you use that silence, then Fnatic will destroy you. But the fact that yeah. Evos has another one queued up, he's a little short of mana right now, but... Yeah, the fact that he has another one means they can still stand here and fight. And they will topple the Tier 3 tower in the middle lane, about half health on the Tier 3 in the bottom lane, and, well, actually, the Tier 2 is still standing up top. But Fnatic pretty much forced the turtle up in their base right now. As the Sheepstick's been finished on Dendi, FNG will finish out the, uh, the Blink Dagger, as he probably looks towards Blade Mail. Yeah, item progression coming along nicely for them. For the side of Fnatic, not so much. Hani has been stuck on the Blink Dagger and the Ultimate Orb for a while, not able to get the Sheep Stick. Buggy has been on the Mask of Madness for a long time as well, and not able to get much more. Uh, so they're pretty much at a standstill. Yeah, Buggy has been, I mean, he just hasn't found the kill if you want to face this Void to be finding. And honestly, I think that's partially because, well, the Void himself is a strong hero. He's a lot stronger when comboed with someone who can actually project a lot of damage into that Chronosphere. And oftentimes, they've got a couple heroes who can do that. They have the Viper, they have the Tinker, they have the the Jakiro, but he's not really pairing with them a lot. He's just kind of going in and thinking and hoping for bashes. Yeah, and well, the tier 2 tower will fall. It doesn't look Dyer's like they were thinking about defending it. Buggy was positioned up here in the tree line. Uh, but obviously Fonic would have scouted him out pretty much right there. And if you put the trees over here, at least the Sprout gives that slight flying vision. Uh, they could have seen him perhaps. So he backs off, the tower goes down, uncontested. Fonic to get the last hit. Fonic actually re probably really in a battle right now with Havos to try to get the first in that word. He's probably trying to chaos Havos every chance he gets, but it's going to be hard. As the double Curse of the Silent, possible to Radiant's triple Curse of the Silent uh, with the double silence and then actually landing your curse. So... Yeah. Although I'm not sure if the Global Silence Curse replaces itself or if it stacks. That is a mechanic yeah. I have no idea about. You still have 45 seconds before you have the Refresher available again. But they do have the Silence ready to go. Freeze is gonna land on the FNG. He's got the mana for Reincarnate, he's okay. Which is being upped by 20. Oh, now he doesn't anymore, he's... That stun he threw right after getting mana burned cost him that Reincarnate. Now not being just has to back off. I I think he kind of wanted to throw it, right? Because he would have died completely away from everybody. It would have been a useless reincarnate, so he just dies and backs off without putting his ult on cooldown. Well, Maybe. Yeah, he's, he's not level, level 16 two. yet. Yeah. If he was level 16, that would be a lot more questions. Well, I can kind of see where he's coming from. So Tinker's just gotten his Hex. So he's going for a more traditional, kind of old-school Tinker build with the faster Hex as opposed to the Dagon that kind of became popular uh, during this version. But because he's playing from behind, he didn't really have the opportunity to blow a bunch of people up with the Dagon. I like it. Mm -hmm. And it's just, in general, I think the more stable build, whereas the Dagon is much more of a snowball build, which of course has been very strong this patch, but still somewhat situational. Yeah, Lockdown for the Puck, who is 11, 2, and 6, is also always pretty <laughs> recommended, I would say. Lockdown for Dendi. Yeah, just Dendi in general, or even Phonic. Phonic uh, has got the Blink, got the Scythe the Vice, of course, had it for a while. Hani just finished up his, as we talked about. The Blade Mail on Phonic from way earlier in the game, and now a Demon Edge. So, Daedalus or MKB? I gotta, I gotta go Daedalus. Um, hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's so, no reason. No one's building a Butterfly, and it doesn't yeah, stop. Yeah. Uh, backtrack anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. You mean... I mean, Void, yeah, he won't, he wouldn't be going for Butterfly for ages anyway, but yeah. Daedalus, I would, I would like to almost see a Desolator more than a Daedalus, but he's just gonna go for it, I guess. Could because be Rapier. I think they're doing... I just think there's so much, uh, you want to get up that hill as fast as humanly possible against this Tinker. You want to take out those buildings as quickly as possible so you don't have to stand in the marsh for too long. Yeah, and, and again, if you can just use middle. the Daedalus to kill the Tinker, who cares, right? Yeah, Tinker, as you mentioned, didn't go for the Dagon build, so he doesn't have that Ghost Scepter either, so he's very, very susceptible to the right clicks, and I don't know, I think the, the Ghost Scepter with the rearm is one of the things that makes him most oh, Dendi's powerful. In. Dendi jumps in, he will sheep up the Jakiro, and then doesn't have to worry about anything else, because there's no BKBs, and Navi's got a Golden Silence. Trixie is still alive, he finally falls, Ghost Sceptering up, now Buggy's alive, with another Silence is coming out, FNG gonna throw out his ultimate there, Havos running in with that BKB that he did get third. Fonic onto a killing screw now, mega kill for Havos, it's a double kill for Havos as he just walks through like the juggernaut glowing with that BKB, bringing everybody down. They lose four. Honey, the only one to survive the middle lane of Rax. Hey, oh my and god, it is the rapier. And it's just using the rapier to be Roche. I like it. As his team just went through the game, Funic not really too concerned about anything right now. I mean, they are just four manning, but at the same time, like, if he gets no picked buybacks. off, dude. 
Yeah. Well, he's got Aegis. That's why he's just sitting there doing the rush. And he Don't buys the rapier, and he won't even be able to finish it in time. So, well, the game's gonna end. Funic with the rapier feeling good. He's gonna feed it away, maybe. <laughs> or just try to kill Trixie real quick. Does not attack very fast. So, I feel like in general, Navi had control of that a lot from the early game. But when there was potential for Fnatic to get stuff done, there was always a little bit of over-aggression coming out. Especially, you know, I don't want to point fingers, but a couple of times come with me really, really over-aggressive and, and kind of feeding away a little bit. Yeah. Trixie, I mean, that was his not role, his best though, game. Right? Hani, not like, his best game. Even if Just come with me...